HVO scientists collect detailed data to assess hazards and understand how the eruption is evolving at Kilauea's summit, all of which are shared with the National Park Service and emergency managers. Access to this hazardous area is by permission from, and in coordination with, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The current eruption at Kilauea's summit began at approximately 3.20 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time on September 29, 2021. Lava activity is confined within Halimaumau Crater in the closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Field crews monitoring Kilauea's summit lava lake in Halimaumau the morning of September 9, 2022, observed sloshing on the northeast margin of the lake that produced spatter bursts pictured in this image. The spatter clots were thrown up to 10 meters, 33 feet, into the air before landing back on the lava lake crust. USGS staff are on Taiyu Island in American Samoa to begin installing Global Positioning System GPS, receiver monitoring sites. GPS equipment is able to detect very slight movements of the ground and will help the USGS to better understand what is happening beneath the ground and provide more accurate hazard assessments. A USGS scientist checks the power supply at a global positioning system GPS station on Taiyu Island in American Samoa. The station consists of a GPS unit, which can measure changes in ground motion placed on a tripod that is leveled and centered over a benchmark. The GPS units will complement recently installed seismometers, which record earthquake activity occurring in American Samoa. Photograph of a global positioning system GPS station on Taiyu Island in American Samoa. Solar panels and batteries in a weatherproof enclosure power the station, which consists of a GPS unit placed on a tripod that is leveled and centered over a benchmark. The GPS unit will measure changes in the ground motion, a monitoring dataset that will complement recently installed seismometers that are recording earthquake activity in American Samoa. Hawaiian Volcano Observatory staff and University of Hawaii at Manoa collaborators walk on lava flows from 1823 along the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park boundary fence as they hike to collect seismic nodes that have been deployed in Kilauea's southwest rift zone for the past two months with permission from the national park and landowners. The nodes were deployed as part of a project funded by the Additional Supplemental Appropriations for Disaster Relief Act of 2019, H.R. 2157. In an effort to better understand the deep earthquake activity beneath the Pahala region, on the far side of the fence, the Great Crack is visible. This feature parallels Kilauea's southwest rift zone and in 1823, lava erupted from the lower 6 miles 10 kilometers, of the Cracky University of Hawaii at Manoa graduate student uses a compass to check the orientation of a seismic node, blue, that was deployed on Kilauea's southwest rift zone over the past two months. Seismic nodes are small and light seismometers that measure ground shaking at the location where they are placed. HVO scientists will use the data collected by the network of over 80 seismic nodes to create images of the structure of the Earth beneath Pahala from as great as 40 to 50 kilometers, 25 to 31 miles, below sea level all the way to the surface. Scientists take notes about the seismic station being collected from the field, where it has been collecting data for the past two months. These temporary seismic node stations were tightly grouped over Kilauea's southwest rift zone and Pahala area in order to more densely record earthquake signals across the region. Lava erupted from Kilauea's southwest rift zone in 1823 formed this lava tree that stands approximately 4 feet 1.2 meters high.
Lava trees form when hot and flowing lava contacts a cool and moist tree, forming a coating of solid lava. This coating temporarily insulates the tree from the lava flowing around it, but eventually the tree burns but leaves behind a cavity where it used to exist. The direction that the lava flow traveled is visible in the direction that the lava wrapped around the tree. During the 1823 eruption of Kilauea's southwest rift zone, lava contacted a tree. It quickly cooled, insulating the tree for a short time from the lava that continued to flow around it. Eventually, the eruption stopped and the tree burned away, but it left behind this lava tree as evidence of how thick the lava flow had been as well as the vegetation that existed in the area before the eruption. The 1823 eruption is known as the Kiowa eruption and it was noteworthy for erupting very fluid lava exhibited by this lava tree. A USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory geologist collects a rock sample using a rock hammer on Taiyu Island, American Samoa. HVO staff are in American Samoa responding to earthquake activity. While there to install monitoring instrumentation, they are also collecting rock samples to better understand past volcanic activity in American Samoa. A USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory geologist collects a sample of a Pahoehoe lava flow above a thick AA lava flow on Taiyu Island, American Samoa. At that location, samples of a sequence of alternating Pahoehoe and AA lava flows were sampled to help reconstruct the eruptive history of Taiyu Volcano. HVO staff are in American Samoa responding to earthquake activity. While there to install monitoring instrumentation, they are also collecting some rock samples to better understand past volcanic activity in American Samoa.